Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be this all elf makeup look using the Mad for Matte 2 palette. I'm starting this off with the Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Nude Linen and I'm applying that using the doe foot that comes with it straight to my eyelid and then using a brush. This is an elf blending brush from the studio line, just using that to blend it all the way up to beneath my brow. These liquid shadows are really great for creating a nice opaque base to wear underneath powder eye shadows or worn alone. I've experienced great wear with these without using a primer, without setting with a powder. They just overall are great liquid shadows, but today they are going to act as my shadow base. So speaking of, like I said before, I am using the Mad for Matte 2 palette. First going in with this kind of light beigey pink shade for my crease taking the blending brush again from elf this is the crease brush and i'm just running that through my crease next i'm taking that same crease brush and going into the lightest cream shade in this palette and running that in my inner corner and kind of going into the inner third as well Next, going a little bit deeper in the shade range, I'm reaching for this mid-tone pink, has a little bit of a peach undertone to keep it more wearable around the eye area, and I'm using that same blending brush to apply that to the outer third, kind of blending it into the middle of my eye as well, just really packing that on and building up the pigment. And last, to really take the color up a notch, I'm going in with the beautiful purple from this palette using the 202 brush from the Beautifully Precise collection. It's really like a tapered pencil brush, and I'm just using that to get really precise but intense color in my outer corner, and then I'm also taking it along the outer half of my lower lash line. The shape of this brush also makes it really easy to get a precise amount in my crease so that I can really build up the depth there without getting a super severely or severe looking cut crease. It just is a natural extension to that deepened outer corner. To finish off the eyes, I popped on the winged and flirty lashes from the Lux Lash Kit, and then I moved on to foundation. This is the Flawless Finish Foundation, and I used the 103 brush from the Beautifully Precise Brush Collection to buff and blend that in all over my face. This foundation's still relatively new to me, but I will have a review coming out soon. So far, it is by far my favorite e.l.f. foundation. It does stay a little bit dewy on my skin. I have combo skin, and I feel like the sunscreen in here kind of makes it a little bit more heavy and um, almost greasy feeling, but I absolutely love the coverage, and I love that it has that SPF protection, so stay tuned for the review. I am still in the testing phase. Next up is concealer. This is the HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Brightening, so it has a hint of yellow in there. I'm applying that primarily where I have the most severe, which isn't that severe, but just the most intense discoloration, my under eye area, right on the inner corner, and then I spread it out from there. I start with my fingers, but I apply it a little bit too much, so then I go in with this brush. This, by the way, is from the Studio Collection, and it is the small tapered brush, and I use that to kind of take a little bit of that product away and then help blend it out as well. Then to set that concealer and really anywhere else on the face where I feel like the foundation is too dewy, like I said, it, it just looks a little bit more greasy in person, I think, than on camera. But to do that, I'm using the Mineral Pearls from e.l.f. and that same brush that I use to disperse that concealer, applying that in my under eye area and then straight in my T-zone and like I said, anywhere else that I feel just needs a little extra setting power. On to the brows. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I'm just using it for the brows today, but then I'm going in with this angled liner or angled brow brush, I guess, because it has a spoolie on the other end. This is from a brush kit. I'm not sure if it's still available, but any angled liner and or spoolie will do here. I'm just using that to fill in my brows and then give them a good swipe through, help them all blend using that spoolie tool. On to the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm going actually blush. This is coming from this palette too. It's the Contouring Blush and Bronzer in the shade Saint Lucia. And I'm using the 101 brush, the big fluffy bronzer brush, one of my favorites ever, not just from e.l.f., but ever, using that to lightly dust the bronzer all over my face. It's a really buildable bronzer, so use a light hand if you are, you know, fair to light skin tone. Um, and then I'm going in with the 105 brush, again from the beautiful precise collection and using that blush to put that on the apples of my cheeks. 
Then because the gold highlight in that blush wasn't enough for me, never is, I'm also going into the illuminating palette and using kind of the lighter champagne tinted powder in that palette and a fan brush and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow before finishing off the whole look with one of e.l.f.'s moisturizing lipsticks. This is in the shade Wink Pink, another old favorite for me, and I'm just applying that all over. In theory, that finishes up the look, but I didn't like how you could see the lash band in between the actual lashes, and so I took that same angled liner brush that I used for my brows and dipped it into the black and brown shadows from the Mad For Matte 2 palette, and just put that very, very lightly across my lash line to fill it in. So that's really it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.